a golden rule that very few even directors know. There's no separation between story and action. The story doesn't stop because you start driving a car or start shooting a gun. For me, action has always been about if I'm there, then that connection between the audience and I and the character is close to this visceral emotional impact. Over the years of doing the John Wick training, the physicality, the martial arts, and then the weapon work, I've gotten better. So I'm really the ceiling, because the vision is always bigger than me. And when you're the limit, you can always get better, because the vision is always greater than you. And for me, it's such a pleasure and a pressure, but also it's the best kind of like, you've got to be better to realize the vision, because then the character and the story can be more profound. And with John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, the vision was really high. Our goal is to have the actors do as much as possible. So we can have the longest takes with them in action, and then we'll jump in if, you know, insurance or we just feel that they're not going to be safe in something like a car hit or high fall or anything like that. We're gonna sit in a gym for six months and just get as good as a stunt guy. Not learn moves, but literally be trained as a martial arts stunt performer. Your own falls, your own rides, your own cars, your own motorcycles, and get in the mix. I think if there's any other action actor or actor, there wouldn't be a John Wick. I think he's the only one that can play him. He can do everything. He's just as good as any stunt guy out there. Keanu has spent over a 1,000 hours with Taron Butler, one of the best three-gun firearm champions in the world. He spent thousands of hours with the 8711 stunt team learning judo, jiu-jitsu, samba, and all the arts that come along with it. Not just the art form of martial arts, but the choreography sense of it, the endurance sense of it. And being over 50, the physical limitations that one gets at that age has to be overcome with even more hours of physical fitness training. It really was one of the hardest, if not the hardest, physical stories I've had to tell. Because there's a lot more action in Parabellum than there is in the other two films. When we train him, we'll go for hours and hours and hours, and he just won't stop. I mean, you don't get to show up and do what he does without having a stellar work ethic. He's determined, he's relentless in his pursuit. He's talented in this area, and he's fearless. He will try and do anything, and he won't stop until he gets it right. He puts in the time, and you can't be John Wick if you didn't really go to the gym, go to the training facility, and actually put in the work. Eric Brown and Chad, they made him an actual judo person. That's what he's accomplished over these three movies. You can't just do one take and move on. It is 12 hours a day for weeks, sometimes months of action. And John Wick 3, five months of nothing but action sequences is a lot. In the rain, in New York, running up and down Fifth Avenue, riding horses, riding motorcycles, and getting the shit kicked out of you by some of the best martial arts some in the business. That takes a level of commitment that is not normal. It's demanding. But that demanding, that thing, is also, it's pleasure, right? Which I love. That's what makes him special. He understands the connection. He understands why he's doing it, and he's more than willing to give the time. And if you see the other cast members that went through the same action training in Parabellum, they understand the same level of commitment.